everyone. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. The topic I'm going to talk about is importance of giving back to the community. This is a public phenomenon, a trend. It's considered fashionable and sexy. Everyone who are here right now have certain aims, desire, motives, passion in life. I'm sure who are here, you want to be a politician, maybe you want to work in an international organization or a big company. Maybe you want to be a teacher, an actor. All of us dream, but everyone don't get what we want in life, what we desire in life. For many of us, our dream just remains dream. But there are those who try to achieve their dream, who try to make their dream come true by hard work, through resources, through contact. And there are those categories of people who just sleep, drink, eat in that order. Those who are like a couch potato, who are lazy to do things. And there are also those categories of people for whom serving community is important. Working for humanity matters more than anything else in life. It must be one of you who want to work for your community. Anyone, you, you, anyone. So all these questions wrestle in my mind. And I think about all these things when I was doing my post-graduation. I remember me and my friends sitting outside the college hostel on a winter foggy morning, talking about what we wanted to achieve in life, what we wanted to do after we finish our post-graduation. And my friends told me, of course I want to work in a big company like Google, Reliance, Tata. Why not? To get exposure to have a financial security, to live a luxurious life. And like them, I also have a dream. I also wanted to work in a big company, become a CEO of a company, to have a future security and a fat salary, like many people. But the reality is different. We don't get what we want in life. And talking about what is actually happening in my community, in Tibet, what Tibetans are doing for our cause. Thinking about the situation, the Tibetan struggle, the Tibetans in Tibet, Tibetans in India, and also Tibetans in the West, how much they are doing for Tibetan cause through writing, articles, poetry, through music, songs, movies, through direct action by working at the Central Tibetan Administration or non-governmental organization, or, or through other means like activists. There are so many ways Tibetans are doing so much for our cause. And I thought, I could have also done something. I could have also contributed. Although my aim was something else at that point of time. But then, that situation led me to do something else. And there are my parents my mom and dad, for whom community service not just helps in personal and professional development, but it also makes one's life worth living. I remember my mom calling up when I finished my post-graduation exam, telling me it would be nice to come back, to give back to the community. And I thought about it after I finished my exam. That night when I was going to sleep, all these things were going in my mind. What me and my friends were talking about. What my mom were talking about. And what the situation is going through here in India and in Tibet. What Tibetans are doing. All these things were going in my mind. And I knew at that point of time, yes, what I wanted to do was serving Tibetan community at that point of time. The next morning, me and my friends went to the train station, got my ticket done, and then I got a ticket purchase from Pune to Delhi. And that is how I ended up working at Central Tibetan Administration, taking charge of Tibet Corps, working in my community, community of Dharamsala, where there are people from across the globe come. It's a small cosmopolitan town. You can see the 
uh, snow peak mountain of Dolada Range is here. So the community where I live, where I belong to, has given me so much. The education I got through, the culture I've learned, the human being I am today, it's all because of my community. It has helped me to grow, it has nurtured me, it has made me a better human being. So it was important for me to do something. And like I said, that is why I ended up working at Tibet Corps, which is at the Central Tibetan Administration. It is an important program of the current cabinet and an initiative of Central Tibetan Administration, which fulfills three principles. Those are, first, unity, second, innovation, third, self-reliance. How is it a unity? Because it gives a platform for Tibetan professionals from Tibetan diaspora to come here and serve Tibetan community. Tibetans from UK, America, Europe, India, Nepal, everyone come here. It mobilizes and unites Tibetan professionals coming here and trying to give back and strengthen the community. We have top talented Tibetan professionals serving through different means. There are Tibetan professional nurses serving at Tibetan settlements and looking after Tibetan patients and giving them health education, which really helps them at the grassroots level. And there are Tibetan professional teachers, like in the picture you can see. Being a Tibetan professional teacher, she serves at Tibetan school, teaches the students and help them grow, which is really important and required in our community. So there are those people who live in the community and serve community. And there are those who not living in the community still serve the community. And there are so many Tibetan professionals who are successful. There are Tibetans working in Indian community, working for Indian media. And I remember there are some of my friends who are very successful, like successful businessmen, entrepreneurs, who work in a big company, earning really well. So they are also contributing naturally by raising community's profile. It itself is a contribution. When I see and hear about all these people doing really well, our pride and consciousness rise naturally. And it's really good to hear what they do and making a difference in different ways. So being a Tibetan, being born here in India, being the second generation, I also consider myself a trans-boundary identity. I also have an Indianness in me. And when I think about what India has given to me, a home to stay here, a place to live here, and I also think we could have also worked together by setting an example for our community. And I imagine, why not Tibetans could be in Bollywood? Why not in national politics? Why not in literary scenes? I think it is really important to do small things which has a deep meaning. So that is how I feel that ultimately what matters is the intention having a good intention, though everybody dreams. And that is why I would like to conclude with a quote by Albert Einstein, which says, only a life lived in the service to others is a life worth living. And I would like to end up living this quote to all of you. Thank you.